Good morning, and welcome to the Morning Dunk. Today is June 18th. Just kidding, I think it's actually June 17th. Um, yeah, it most definitely is June 17th. And, uh, what did I forget? Oh yeah, I forgot something. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna go get my splash guard real quick. Welcome to the Morning Dunk. Thanks for joining me as always. Thanks for, uh, your continued support for the Morning Dunk. Uh, let me go get the splash guard and we will get started. Alright, hope everyone's having a great Monday morning. Uh, today is the... And I haven't updated it yet on the schedule, but today is actually going to be the last dunk until next week. Until uh, next Saturday morning. Um, we're going to be doing a three-day-a-week schedule. Three days a week schedule. Let me, um... First of all, let me get the cam going. Let's get the, uh, court cam. Okay, let's get the full court cam going here, guys. Oop. It's a little bit of a shot of the ceiling. Okay. It's a little bit too... So we got an interesting... I got the splash guard in effect. Um... What's going on? What can you actually... To be able to see what's going on on the court. I think that's a pretty good view. Hopefully you agree. Um, today we're doing the old classic, the Tazo Chai Tea. And uh, Lotus Biscuits. Um, but in the new tradition, we have three balls, bounces off the rim, I can redo the shot. I don't know if I want to give myself redos with with the dunk cup. Maybe I can. All right, I got the splash guard in effect. Just so I don't uh, make a huge mess. Let me cover this keyboard. Let me get the biscuits out of the way. Let me get my phone out of the way. All right, and uh, hopefully we got a few people here. Sorry for the late start. I had to watch my little guy for a few minutes while my wife took a shower. But we are, uh... We're gonna get started. Alright, so ball number one. I think I should, like, really... angle the hoop more towards... like, how I'm actually... I know it doesn't look right on cam... based on the angle of my table, but if I make that ball... Okay, so I'm thinking... Uh... Probably, what, th maybe I'll do three heart bucks for the cup, and I'll do, um, ten if it goes in the... Alright, here we go, first shot of the day. There's five points for y'all. Just kidding, not five. Just said it's, uh, just said it's two. Maybe I said it was three. I'm gonna call it two heart bucks. You basically just earned... 10 minutes of view time. 
All right, ball number two. I mean, that hoop is like, I, wa I want to go for the hoop, but I don't want to miss all my shots either. Oh, well, it bounced off the rim in. That counts as another two points. Two heart bucks for y'all. And uh, ball number three. Oops. After I drop it on the floor. Get some dirty sugar. All right. Oh, I I hit off the rim, but it wasn't it wasn't up top, so I'm not gonna consider that. I'm not gonna consider that a redo. I'm gonna consider that two sugars for the dunk. Why do I have oh, this freaking dog hair? That really bugs me. And dog. All right. In goes the cream. I tried today to not take so much cream upstairs with me. Oh. And uh, we have the old wife and kid outside. Playing with the hose. Alright, let's stir this stir this puppy up. So yeah, anyways, we're gonna get into the dunking now. Cause that's about where we're at. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of the dunk view this angle, because you don't usually get this angle. And uh, let me make sure that we got this here. All right. Oh, there it is. I'd say that was a. Uh... That was a pretty good dunk. All right, a little bit more tea to wash that one down. And that's just such a good combination. I can't get over it. The OG Tazo Chai with a uh, Lotus Biscuit. I'm gonna make sure that my settings saved real quick. Um, give me one second, then we'll get into the game. I don't know why I keep changing those settings. But, uh, here we are. So, let's, uh, get to it. Let's get to the to the gaming portion of the, the morning dunk. Hope everyone's having a good day. Um, green screen acting good. Looks like we're fine. It's solid. The autofocus is turned off. So I think we're good to go. Uh, let's make sure. Speak with Alfino. That's right. We have to. I have to go back over this way. Now, what I'm worried about is... Is that, like, a... Alright, well, first of all, while I'm here... I'm going to attempt... To get back into the, uh... Zone over here so I can get my... Stuff taken care of. So I can get my flying mount. Monday, Monday... Said it's a happy Monday morning. A happy Monday dunk day. All right. Cash. Cash the. S. S. Cars. Some cool names. Oh, there we go. There's what I'm looking for. There's my baby. So I think, what was it? I had not much left to do here. 
had one on foot and then one quest. Is that an enemy? No, it's a corpse. It's kind of creepy. All right, where's the, uh, where's this current at? 301 to the north. Uh, so, I hope everyone's having a good day. My day was long, had a long day at work. A long, exhausting night of work. Got home and left late. Got home a little bit late. Uh, so yeah, that was my night. There's a lot going on. A lot to do. Busy, busy. What did you guys do last night? What were you up to? Tell me all about your night last night. Alright, Aether Current, we got it. Alright, there should be one more quest somewhere. Wherever that quest is, I'm not really sure. So I thought it was like a more of a bluish color. Um, I might have to d explore this new area to find it. Guy was neat. Alright, I'm gonna go up this way. Probably somebody's gotta be like up here giving away these quests. And then I should be able to fly in this zone. That makes me happy. I think the splash guard's a good addition. That way I don't get uh, my son's computer covered in tea, coffee, or whatever else. Whatever other nets we ha may have for the day. I mean, this place is looking pretty not promising. More than likely it's going to have to be over in this area, or some other area I've explored, or potentially it could be, I guess. No, those don't look like... Those look like regular quests. Is that the one? Nope. Trying to not sneeze again. Or try to not turn the mic back on until that was over. Oh. Halo. Copyright. Copyright infringement right there. I don't know what those little balls are. They're all over the place. This is a dungeon that I don't have access to. Can I, like, leave this zone? Or do I need... There's no way in hell I'm getting through there without a flag mount. Can't fly yet. Oh, Mondays might be just a busy day in general for people. Um, but I'm going to stick to morning dunking on uh, Mondays regardless. You can talk to this guy. I think. Burn it down. Burn them all. Oh, now my nose. It's been a big turd. Alright, let's go over this way. There's gotta be. There's gotta be some quest giver that I just haven't. It's possible that I have to do more of the main story quest before I can unlock it. Arrived at a vista. Arrived at a vista? How long ago was that? I don't even know what... Whatever, I'll come back to it. Because I really don't know how those work. You just have to like stand there and like... Take a picture? I don't really know. Oh, stupid runny nose now. It's the worst. So I believe it's a quest. Uh, yes, it should be a quest. Got my shirt buttoned. How is my shirt not buttoned? That's so unclassy. Don't 
to show off too much skin on stream. Don't want you to think I'm a Twitch ho. Okay, though, seriously, I don't think... I don't think I know where I need to actually go for this quest, so... I should be able to leave this way, though. That's my guess. Can go out this way, hopefully? Maybe? Not, I'm teleporting, because there's no way in hell I am walking all the way back around. Okay, so we're teleporting. And not by that. What the hell? Okay, I really... I really think I have to go over here. Be... I want to be the hunter. No, I don't think I have the uh, quest unlocked yet. Maybe it's down here? This zone? I guess that's a possibility as well. It's always possible. Alright, so... I'm trying to think of the easiest way to get there. It's probably going to have to be through this waterway again. Up and around. Does it, like, tell me that there's no Aether Currents? Okay. That's good to know. Should kind of like point to the quest marker too, I think. I think that would be helpful. Oh, do, 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 do. So are only certain mounts? Flying mounts, is that how that works? Like I can't take my... Uh, Saddlebag. I don't know why I never used that for getting rid of some of this shit. Uh, add all to saddlebag. I had everything to saddlebag. Okay, I need to go up this way. Proceed through this main story quest. Is that a Dravanian? Yes, it is. Dravanian Apis. He is not liking me right now. Okay. I don't know if I should go this way or the other way. Probably have to go... Now, is this a sick joke where I actually have to go all the way around? Because I feel like that's probably maybe the case. But maybe not. Uh-oh. Can't jump. I try to take these shortcuts and it always makes it take longer. talking I can't even hear him what time we got we got 10 24 almost time for another dunk we'll do it at 10 30 and we'll do another one at uh 10 50 and this nose business really really getting to me <laughs> not the most uh Pleasant tissue. Big running sandpaper across my nose. <laughs> my wife's outside my window spying on on the morning dunk. Oh. I don't, don't do that. To my channel. Oh. Turn that audio down. Alright. Didn't actually. Okay. Well, why did it do that to me? Never mind. Just being a wacko. Do, 
Really looking forward to catching up on uh, main story wise. Definitely not going to make it in time for Shadowbringers. Still have. I don't even know how much storyline in this. Well, these are level 53 quests, so. Can't be very far into the content. Oh, there's the. Uh... Oh, that's giving me Aether Current. That's interesting. Is this a dungeon unlock? Hey, appreciate that uh, host, Smashly. Much appreciated. What is this? The naming of the Voth. The Voth Storyteller. I don't know. Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Morning Dunk, and I appreciate that. I didn't, wasn't sure if it was an auto, auto host or... <clears throat> Excuse me, if you're actually here. I appreciate you stopping in. How you doing? How you been? Having, uh... Haven't seen much of you since last year. But I've, that's pretty much my fault. Because I've been out of the uh, Twitch game for a while. Oh, East Quests, okay. Good. Away we go. I've been lurking for a few. I have to leave for work. Well, I appreciate the lurks. That's awesome. Thank you. Busy as hell with work, too. Yeah, that's pretty much pretty much my life, uh, is being busy with work. I've been trying to carve out, like, an hour a day. I guess now it's going to be an hour of a day for three days that I do the morning dunk. What's your schedule like, and what have you been up to lately? Like, doing any gaming, or still doing your streams? I have Lurker running, so that's pretty much like one of the only ways I can contribute to the to the community. ESO and really time to play. That's too bad. You have friends that play, or you just kind of going at it solo if you when you get the time. I played a little bit of ESO, uh, probably two thousand. 15? I played a bit. Schedule is retail. Stream probably once every week. Yep, good old retail. It's pretty much, I'm in that same boat. Stream, friends at play. Nice. Oh, nice. You're still rocking the N22. That's good to, good to hear. How are the uh, charity streams going? Are you like, do you um, also stream with other... I'm tired all the time. Yeah, it's rough. It's very rough. I ended up taking on a new position last uh, November. Roughly between, like, September and November. And I had a good schedule working out, but then I took on this new job, this new role, and now my schedule is, like, 14-hour days. And then I still have to come home and have a life with my wife and family, so. Oh, that's good to hear. Very good to hear. Are you, like, pretty much doing the N22 each stream still when you do get around to it? Oh, let's see. I think... Uh, Cave of Born. Okay, now I have to go up here. It's funny that I was just there. <clears throat> Excuse me. Trying to get management position two. Are you, um... Are you, like, in doing any management at all? Like, have you worked on, like, moving up? Or are you still at the, uh... The worker level? Stream otherwise. Oh, that's really cool. Cool of you, anyways. Was it, like, a successful run for you last summer when you were doing it? I don't know when you... When did you get your new job? Your new position? Air management. Nice. Well, that'll help you out then. Have the, uh... Or have, like, your bosses or anybody, have you talked to them about moving up in the near future? 
January. Yeah, so not too much after. Not too much after I changed my job then. Right around the same time frame. But you missed out on Black Friday and all that fun. Okay, I thought I had a exit. There it is. What kind of business did you run? And why am I not on my mount? That's really the important question I need to ask myself here. A long walk. <clears throat> will be working it this year. Yeah, that's true. And it'll come before you know it. Sleep number, nice. Well, their Black Friday probably won't be too... too crazy. Unless that's like one of... one of multiple jobs you work. I think you... You get like, uh... Fruit Good discounts on sleep number beds. How's that work out for you? You like pump them on a you pump them on a stream and get like an extra discount. So I assume that must be your plan. Then you get back into. When you do stream, being able to just play ESO, is that what you want to stream? She offered you a position because of... Oh, nice. Is that what you did for a business? Like, doing uh, massages? Some good money in that. Especially uh, medical. Discount on first bed. Very nice. Your biggest rivals, or purple, your biggest rivals. Medical massage therapy, money wasn't too great. You in like a small town, or you got like a city area that you're living in? I live in a pretty small town, and I feel like maybe not medical massage, but there's like one or two people in the area that do massages and they get all the business. So it could work out either way. Only I think pills are better. Well, yeah, I mean, I think that's just the general uh, mindset of people. And a lot of, um, yeah, the older generation, they're definitely into to their pills, medications. I mean, don't get me wrong, like, if you need them, you need them. I have nothing against that. Hey, how's it going, Baked Nunu? It is Ba, what do you expect? How's it going, Nunu, man? Or girl, or whatever you may be. Shouldn't throw gender stereotypes out there when addressing, but uh, welcome to the stream, welcome to the morning dunk. Hey, how's it going? How are you doing today on this fine Monday? I think actually I'm do for a dunk, as it so happens to happens to be. Go for dunk number two here before I drink all this tea. So, I'm gonna uh, gonna get two here. Ooh. Drinking a uh, Tazo chai tea with a lotus biscuit. Uh, the OG. Man, that just shattered the backboard again. I'm having some really good dunks today. What do you got going on, Nunu? How's your life? How's your day going? How's your morning? Doing, I'm doing well as well, thank you. Uh, had a long night. I work uh, overnights in retail and uh, manage a crew of anywhere between 18 to 24 people. I have to make sure that uh, 
things get done at one of the busiest stores in all of New England, so it's it's fun. Yeah, no, I agree with the holistic approach. You should at least try to do something. I would rather try to do something holistic as well, but instead of the older generations, they just go right for the for the meds. And getting ready for bed because these overnights. Yeah, I know the feels. I know the feels. Um, the dunk runs until 11. I do a 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Eastern time uh, run. And then it's bedtime for me, so I get, I totally get it. So you do overnights as well, or you just like happen to be up all night? Smashly, do you do like, um, I assume obviously you gotta have some, some kind of like carrier. You like use like an oil or a lotion or make like your own, your own concoctions. Alright, so now we have the duty finder. I'm gonna try to get into this dungeon before the morning dunk ends. Um, we'll see how well this works. Probably not gonna work, actually. I may end up having to do... may have to do the dunk. Yeah, dungeon tomorrow. Psalm. Oh. That was the one. Uh, 24 minutes. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna happen. Lotion and essential oils. Very nice. Just got put on overnights for the next four weeks. Ah uh, yes, overnight retail. That's the uh, that's the beauty of it. So you don't normally do overnights then, so it's kind of like a complete upside down for you. Yeah, I don't. Yeah, I really don't think. I don't even have 24 minutes left on the dunk. Then to do a dungeon in that time, I just don't think that's gonna happen. That'll be. That'll probably be for Turkey Sandwich Wednesday this week. Uh, 9 p.m. Eastern, if you want to see me go through that dungeon. Either that or I may end up doing it off stream. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, but I definitely need to tap out of that. So, used to the 4 a.m. shifts. Yep. Um, I don't know. Thank you for that follow. Um, much appreciated. I guess, I don't know, I've been pretty inactive until until recently, so I can't blame you there. And 4 a.m. shifts and 10 to 7s. 10 to 10. Yep. Uh, by chance, do you work at Walmart? That sounds like very Walmart-ish shifts. And yeah. Yep, yep, yep. I know those shifts all too well. I appreciate the uh, follow on Twitter. I don't know. I'm I'm assuming I'm following you on Twitter, but let me double check because I should be. I should definitely be following following you. Log in. That's well. Surprised that was actually my password. So what have you been playing, Nunu? Anything good? Smash. Follow me. And I don't think I was following you either, which is crazy because I most definitely am following you on Twitch. I just... I don't know, that's crazy. That's weird how that works out. So I remember you, I remember your streams. Actually, I watched you playing uh, Realm Royale before I knew what it was, and I was like, oh, that game looks sweet. And uh, then um, Realm Royale turned into a crap game within like a month and a half. I had to format all of it. Oh, no. <laughs> That's painful. You go back to the old classic uh, notebook. Keep your usernames and passwords under your desk or something. 
You love Realm? I don't know. I played, I loved Realm when it first came out. Like, when I first watched you playing it, and it was, I liked the initial launch. But I, I don't know, me and, uh, me and Sunford played, my buddy Sunford, we played for a while. And then, they just kept patching it into oblivion. <laughs> Changing the game, like, every patch drastically into a completely different game, and I don't know what it's like now. Maybe it's cool, but... Spell break. I'll write it down. Take a look at it. If I don't write it down, I'll probably forget because I'm getting old. And my memory is like... Oh yeah, I'll remember that, and then... Five minutes later, it's gone. I feel like the name sounds familiar, but... Oops, I'll just call this Games to Play. Games to check out. And then I have a ton of, um, I do the, uh, Humble Monthly, so I have a ton of games that I just haven't even installed, just sitting in my Steam library. I need to really, uh, dig into some of those sometime. Spell Break. Alright. Well, that should be saved. It's a Mage's Battle Royale. Could be fun. I haven't played, I think, um... I think Realm was the last, att like, true attempt I tried to get into Battle Royales, and nothing was really convincing me to play that style of game. Like, I didn't really... I thought I, PUBG was cool, but I never, like, bit into it. Use your humble library to give away games on Steam. Nice. That's a, actually a pretty good idea, too. So that's, like, free giveaways. Essentially, like, $12 for, uh... Giveaway keys is really good. Really good idea. I never thought of doing that. Just like standing here next to this fire sprite. We've gotten close in the last five minutes. <laughs> um, I think, I don't know, there's one game I wanted to check out on uh, Humble Monthly that they gave out a while back. That Earth Defense Force looked kind of interesting. Kind of goofy. Spell break, super cool, more of a magic gameplay. Yeah, I'd have to check it out. See if it's uh, anything I'd be into. So the only battle royale I've really played is is uh, Realm. Played a little bit of Fortnite, but I, I suck at building, and I don't have the uh, patience or the time to really sit down and get as good as I would want to get at building to be able to play that game. Alright, so I guess if I'm not going to be able to do... Okay, and of course that dungeon gives me the last Aether Current, so I can't really do any more content there either. But it looks like that gives you access, once you finish that, to the next zone. Yeah. Can't build in Fork Knife either, huh? No, I tried. I tried a little bit. I didn't get too in-depth, but... I was just like, no, I remember I would sit down and I'd, I would play this um, this game on the Quake engine, it was called Warsaw, or, yeah, Warsaw, and I would sit there practicing movement, my movement for like eight hours a day back when I was in college and doing nothing with my life, and it's like, in retrospect, how much time was wasted on a game that never really took off or had any return of investment at all. Fort Fortnite would be different, obviously. There's like more stuff going on with that game. But it's just too many good pe like ridiculously good people. It would take too long to get even close to a playable level. Played with your son for like an hour. Is your son good at the game? My uh my best friend um, frequents the stream every once in a while as a uh, producer of Fortnite, and I uh, have much respect for him and I have much respect for the game, but I I just can't can't get into it. I'm trying to teach him not to. Yeah, that's probably a good habit. I think <laughs> surprisingly, like if my son gets frustrated, but I think it's probably because he watched me play Dark Souls when he was like five, so that's kind of my fault. Fortnite is the best game you've ever played. 
like I said, I have a lot of respect for the game. Uh, for what it is, for what it does. For the way, like, it's free and very accessible, runs smooth, and how it took uh, the Battle Royale game type. It took all of the jarring issues that PUBG had that they didn't want to fix. And then they, you know, Epic gave it away for free, so that was pretty cool. Realized there was a, uh... Keeps all the whining kids off the games you do play, that's true. It's a good way to look at it. They just gave away, um, Black Ops 4, the Battle Royale, and the Humble Monthly. I think maybe it was last month. So I redeemed that. I'm gonna, I might check that out someday, see what that's like. And then um, Apex looked interesting, but I never got into that. I said it's mostly just because I don't have the time to sit down and get good at them. League of Legends, yeah. Spent some time with that game too. I think my thing with League of Legends wasn't really the toxic community, it was just the... I didn't really care for the development choices on the game. Having like 170 characters and the balance is so terrible that only like 8 or 12 of them are actually playable or worth playing. Yeah, I mean, Fortnite I think like kicked League of Legends off the throne. I think Fortnite will, will still be popular for... I'm gonna say at least two more years. It's gonna probably keep its keep its crown, but I mean, until someone makes something better, or like the next thing, it's gonna be it's still gonna be up there, anyways. And I think League had its dips. Like League dipped for a while, and it kind of just like came caught back up, I guess. And there's like nothing else to play, so people just played League. Son plays Roblox and Gary's mod. Very nice. I got my uh, my son as well. He's eight. He plays Roblox quite a bit. He plays a lot of stuff on Switch. He likes Zelda a lot. So he plays that. Like He's actually doing better than me. He's beat the game normally and on Master Mode, and I haven't even beat the game normally yet. I feel like a real old man now. The joys of being young and having infinite time to play video games. I don't even know what's going on in this quest, but... Until VR equals big, it isn't clunky. It will not be anything that is going to top anything else. Yeah... How are you with VR? Because I, I put on a VR headset, I have the PlayStation VR. And I was really looking forward to it. Um, I started playing Doom. Doom VFR, and probably not the best first VR game to play, but I think within like 30 seconds, I, I felt like I was going to throw up. And eventually, like, I had to, like, go lay down, because I was just getting so disoriented. And that can be an age thing on my behalf, but, like, my dad gets motion sick just playing, like, games that have motion in general. Like, I don't get that aspect of it, but maybe, like, VR is my version of what my dad dad suffered through for not being part of that generation. Yeah, exactly. I'm right there with you, Smashly. <clears throat> I get I get really uh, disoriented, lightheaded. I start, like, sweating. It's pretty bad. But I've only tried the PSVR. I haven't tried, like, Oculus or Vive or anything. So it could be a different experience. I did um, upgrade to the PS4 Pro because I heard, like, the frame rate was better and the uh, resolution was better, and still it didn't really make a difference. Still, it was sweating bullets and wanted to puke. I forgot what you know about Sword Art Online. Yeah, Sword Art Online would be. I mean, everyone's been waiting for that. So I think Sony even teased an exclusive Sword Art Online at one point, but it was a big joke. <clears throat> Excuse me. What will you say? You must keep your word. Yeah, I know. I think Sword Art Online is one of those things where it's like everybody 
even people that don't play, like I don't know much about sword art, sword art online, but I feel like if they had a VR MMO, it would be. Uh, I would have to at least invest in it. Can't play first person either for the same reason. Yeah, that's that's kind of where my um, similar thing to my dad. He gets the first person thing where he can't like. If it's first person, he will get just like completely sick. He can't even watch people playing it. You know, VR SAO with a rotating treadmill. Oh my god. Yeah, they would. <laughs> it's going to be a Japanese exclusive for 15 years and then maybe we'll get it over here. Um, the other weird thing, too, about first person shooters is there's certain ones, and it depends on the uh, field of view. There's certain first person shooters like I can't watch but I can play. Like I have to be in control 100% of the camera. Uh, but also it's weird because Minecraft is a game that I don't understand why but when Minecraft first came out I had the hardest time playing. I would get that real bad motion sickness with it. I can watch people because I have chat. Yeah that's true. Third person shooters don't do it to me play I mean it depends on the camera angles I think I tried playing um, what was it skate the skate series skate one two and three or whatever and I cannot do those games at all that fisheye camera or whatever the hell it is is just it's awful hey I appreciate you hanging out smashly appreciate you chatting in for that uh, for that host much appreciated hope you have a good day at work and it's good to see you again Hopefully I'll uh, catch you online sometime, and I'll have my lurker running, so if I don't catch you, uh, hopefully my computer picks you up anyways. And appreciate that follow, Nunu. Thank you very much. Welcome to the Morning Dunk slash Turkey Sandwich Wednesday squad. Okay, where am I going? I'm like walking away from this quest. Yeah, have a great day. Thank you. Pretty much about to wrap up the dunk anyways it's almost 11 here okay i don't know okay destination uh what's your streaming schedule like if you if you were to stream when do you typically 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 streaming i guess that's the question i'm sorry i'm like stupidly tired been a long day. I'm usually like stuttering over my words at this point of the day. Until you get off the overnights, yeah. Yeah, it's rough. I hadn't streamed basically since last, I think last September, maybe October was the last time I streamed. Um, until recently when I kind of just decided I could carve out an hour a day after work. But like I said, the downfall to that is being really tired. Well, at least you only have four weeks doing remods. So did they send you to remod, or did you offer? Because I know a lot of times, like, they ask for people to volunteer, unless it's really terrible, and then they're like, oh yeah, like, we need ten people from every store. and make it happen. Stream five days a week, two to eight. Oh, well, that's pretty... That's a pretty good stream schedule, then. You got voluntold. Yeah, yeah that makes sense. Yeah, I ended up doing... Uh, helped out with a rebottle last year. I volunteered the first time. And then um, the next week, my store manager was like, Actually, I think I got a phone call asking me to go back and uh, basically, like, they're like, oh, we're going to switch your schedule. You need to go back. I was like, okay. So, yeah, the voluntold thing. It's a fun one. But, no, it seems like you got pretty good. You do 30, like, really 30 hours of streaming a week on a normal week. So that's pretty good.
think even back when I was, like last year, I was only doing, I was doing two hours a day. And then I would do like a three hour stream, a three or four hour stream, one day a week. So you got me beat. Are you on your set schedule? So you say, yeah, you're doing like a cap one position. The four to, four to ones. The four to one's nice too, because you can get out of work so early and just enjoy the rest of the day. That was a good position to be on. You can focus on building your esports community. Nice. What do you, um, what's the focus there for you? Like just esports in general or? Being objective fulfilled. I like. Probably inside the house. There we go. The champ wants to talk to me. Alright, we're going to do this final, third and final dunk here before the stream ends. Make sure we get that in there. That's a nice quick, quick no delay. Didn't really shot out of the backboard with that one, but... Oh, thank you very much for those bits. Much appreciated, Smashly. Sorry, I was like mid, mid dunk drink on that one. <laughs> thank you very much. Oh my god, you're too sweet. I think you might even be way sweeter than that. Chai tea with two sugar cubes and a lotus biscuit. Oh my god. We'll just smash one of the OG members. Um, send me uh, send me like your info in the in a DM after, or Discord or wherever, whatever you want for a link. I'll uh, hop over and check it out. Oh my word! Thank you so much. Thank you, Smashly. You're awesome. Big big love doll romance heart for you. And I really need to uh get a new gif and sound notification for bits i don't know maybe maybe that's an okay one for the bits but thank you so much it's much appreciated yeah definitely i've never like attempted to to go that intense with with building the community because i feel like i always am in a position where i can't dedicate the amount of time and effort it takes to really coordinate all that. Alright, well, appreciate it, Smash. Don't be late. Have a good day at work. And good luck with the new job. I guess it's not, like, entirely new, so you've been doing it for a while, but hope everything goes well for you. And I will, uh, write that link down so that I have that as well. <clears throat> Excuse me. Because I don't want to Get it, like I mentioned earlier. TransfusionEsports.com Very cool, I got that written down. Or typed down, I guess. I'll check that out after I, uh... After I pop off here. I appreciate you both hanging out. Um, popping in the stream, saying hi. Uh, definitely appreciate the bits as well. That's very... Very awesome to see see some new faces, I guess, and uh, some old new faces. It's my thing. It's been like trying to rebuild, rebuild like um, my sense of community since losing it all last last fall. And definitely, yeah. Get on, uh, now that I got you on Twitter. I haven't been posting on Twitter really much. I've been trying to, like, do notifications when I'm not gonna be on stream. But I haven't actually, like, been doing going live not notifications or anything like that, so. I've been pretty, pretty slack with it. I don't know. 
God. Okay, look up here. It's basic info plus Discord link. Doesn't matter how often stream, just looking for small streamers that want to grow and have fun. Nice. That sounds pretty much where I'm at right now, so. Yeah, I'd feel bad, like. Because most of the time, like, when I'm not. Like, this is like. Well, this is pretty much the only time I'm on my computer or at my computer. Is during this, so I have to, uh. have to, like, coordinate things pretty, pretty well. I got a mosquito attack on my face. Alright. Yeah, I'll probably swing over to the Discord, pop in there as soon as I get done on this, and say hello. Once this uh, little cutscene is out of the way, anyways, this little quest. So, Nunu, do you play ESO as well, or do you have other stuff that you play? More crunchy greens and juicy flesh. Sounds delicious. Play a wide variety, nice. Like, you have anything particular? particular genre that you like, or... <clears throat> Pretty much lately for myself, it's just been trying to play, trying to commit to this because I only have so much time to play games. I got a group of friends that are play, so I'm trying to all just stay, stay connected with each other. I haven't played ESO much since launch. I heard the launch was really, was really rough for ESO. But eventually the game got better. I played after they changed it dramatically. I, I don't remember. I think I played right before. I don't know. It was 2015. And they hadn't put out Morrowind yet. I think they were working on it. Dauntless. Very nice. Dauntless is fun. I play, uh, play Monster Hunter with the same group of friends that I play this with. And I ended up checking out Dauntless um, last year when I was streaming. I don't have any clips or any videos or anything from it, but I did check it out. I thought it was pretty neat, pretty interesting. LOL. LOL is fun, but having to commit 45 minutes to a game, and I pretty much suck at LOL. Back when I was in college and had a lot of free time, I loved it, but I don't have that kind of time now to really dedicate to it. But yeah, I'm gonna um, have to uh, say goodbye and end it there. Like I said, I'm gonna swing over to the Discord right after this and shoot you a message, but as far as the morning dunk, it's gonna come to an end. I uh, appreciate Appreciate you hanging out, appreciate chats, appreciate the bits. Thank you very much, Smashly. Nice to see you again. Nice to, nice to see you, Nunu. I feel like, now that I think about it, I feel like I've definitely seen your name before. Um, but if not, then anyways, yeah, it was nice meeting you as well. And you should get some rest too. Enjoy the rest of your uh, overnight remodel. Thanks for hanging out and have a great day.